Neural resonance refers to the idea that the brain responds more strongly, or resonates, with certain patterns of information that align with its existing structure, experiences, or expectations. It's like how a tuning fork vibrates when it detects a matching frequency. In the brain, this resonance means that some neural circuits become more synchronized or active in response to familiar or meaningful stimuli. Here's a clearer breakdown. What it means. When your brain encounters information that matches its internal wiring, like a familiar voice, a well-learned concept, or an emotional cue, specific neurons start to fire in sync. This synchronized activity is the brain's version of resonance. Where it shows up. Learning and memory. New information resonates better when it connects with what you already know. That's why it's easier to learn related things. Language and music. The brain resonates with patterns, tones, or rhythms that match learned structures. Empathy and social connection. Mirror neurons resonate with others, actions or emotions, helping us understand them. In practice, imagine someone hears a song from their childhood. That melody triggers neurons that have fired together before, creating a resonant effect, faster recall, stronger emotional reaction, even physical chills. That's neural resonance. In education, neural resonance helps explain why some learning sticks and some doesn't. It's about how well new information aligns with what a student already knows and how well it fits the brain's existing neural patterns. Here's the idea broken down for education. How neural resonance works in learning. When a student encounters new material, their brain scans for patterns it recognizes. If the content connects to prior knowledge, the brain responds with a kind of neural echo. This resonance strengthens memory, understanding, and engagement. No connection, no resonance. The brain treats it as noise or something irrelevant, and it doesn't stick. Real-world examples. Scaffolding, good teachers build on what students already understand. That foundation sparks resonance and makes new info easier to absorb. Analogies and metaphors. These work well because they link unfamiliar concepts to familiar ones, creating a bridge that the brain can resonate with. Emotional hooks, stories, humor, or relevance to students, lives activate emotional circuits. These often overlap with memory circuits, creating stronger neural resonance. Why it matters. Deeper learning happens when teaching hits existing mental models. Misconceptions can cause students to resonate with incorrect ideas, why unlearning is so hard. Personalized learning helps because each brain resonates differently depending on background, interests, and experience. Bottom line, neural resonance in education is about teaching in tune with the brain. When new ideas connect to old ones, the brain lights up and learning sticks. When they don't, it's just static.